Hi, uh, in this uh, tutorial, we are going to map a countrywide wall to wall forest and wooden cover for Zimbabwe. We are going to use uh, the training data that we prepared in QGIS uh, in order to do the classification. So, first, uh, we are going to define the country boundary uh, using uh, the following lines of code. Uh, following that, we are going to, uh, to load uh, uh, the Sentinel-2 uh, surface reflectance data. Uh, first, we are going to load uh, for the rain se post rain season. Uh, that is uh, between April and uh, June. And next, we are going to load uh, another data set uh, from the dry season. So between uh, July and uh, October. Please take note that I've left the rain. I, I left uh, the, the rain season data set because uh, it, is, it has got some uh, cloud cover. Right. Uh, following that, we are going to load in uh, the Sentinel uh, One uh, data set. So we are going to load in uh, uh, Sentinel data set for the rain season. Then following that, we are going to load uh, for the post rain season. And then finally for the dry season right we are also going to, to use uh, elevation and uh, uh, slope uh, in the classification so after that we are just going to combine all the uh, raster variables into uh, uh, one uh, input feature class so this is uh, the code for combining uh, the raster variables into one feature class. The next, uh, we are going to load in our, our training data set. Remember the one that we uh, uh, created in uh, QGS. So here's the training data. So we are going to uh, use uh, the column for class. Right. Uh, First, we are going to sample, okay, uh, the, uh, we are going to overlay the training areas on the, uh, the input features, uh, remember, the raster variables that we have uh, combined. And then, uh, since we are doing a, we want to do a classification for the whole country, it is important uh, to take note of uh, this uh, scale parameter. So, I have uh, defined it as 100 so that we avoid the problems of uh, running out of memory uh, in uh, F engine. So we have to be uh, very careful about this uh, scale parameter. Right, uh, uh, next, we are just uh, going to uh, add the random column as we've done in the previous videos. And then we are going to uh, split uh, the training uh, data set into training and test sets. Okay, and next uh, we are going to uh, define the random forest model. So here we define it using these uh, lines of code. And then following that, we are going to uh, 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 prepare uh, details of the classifier. So we want to explain uh, the, for example, the features uh, that are, are important into them in the model okay so we are going to use uh, the we are going to compute the variable uh, importance uh, following that uh, we do the same as we've done before we are going to uh, perform uh, the uh, accuracy assessment on the model so here we are just uh, are going to uh, produce a co confusion matrix so this is for the uh, training model. And then after that, we need to perform validation using the, the data that is not uh, seen by the model. Okay. Uh, after that is simply, we are going to, uh, to uh, run a model filter uh, so that uh, we uh, remove uh, some uh, a small uh, salt and paper areas uh, 
that uh, do not provide much uh, information. And then finally, we are going to export uh, our classified, uh, the, our final classification uh, to Google Drive. Okay, so this uh, the green areas represent forest areas and uh, the gray areas are non-forest areas. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next tutorial.